Well, this is a response to politics girl uh, bashing living the lights on Trump, and apparently she's uh, good with all these commie show trials. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is a Liberalism is a Mental Disorder update. politics girl, here's what you don't understand. These are communist show trials. Now, I'm a working man, I got a heavy schedule, so I don't have a lot of time to research this, but I don't have to really research anything to know what's going on. I have the benefit of history. Trump is automatically guilty. And Trump, if you'll forgive the pun, trumped up charges. There is no excuse for what's happening to him. This is 100% political. You really think that Trump lived all those years and never uh, got brought up on charges and they all knew it and then all of a sudden they bring him up on charges? In other words, he's lived a pretty clean life until he crossed the uh, deep state. And now they're going after him. This is a third world uh, takeover of this country. A third world communist takeover. I'm not the only one saying this. I listen to these talk show hosts and they're saying the same thing I am. Independently. Now, politics girl, you have to understand something. This is the end of representative government in this country. Representative government in the United States no longer exists. Oh, hey, facts, how can you say that? You got two parties, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's because we're not going to get anybody who's dynamic enough anymore to fight the system. You know, Republican, Democrat, not a lot of difference in most cases. Look at uh, Liz, Lizard Cheney, for instance. She was a real piece of work. They're being called the Uniparty. Uh, well, there's reasons for that. A representative government is over with. Look at the way they're treating ordinary citizens in these school boards. Well, look at the way they treated people in Maui. They burned them to death. Representative government is over. It is finished. It no longer exists in the United States. I hate to have to tell you that, but it's a fact. And politics girl thinks that thinks it's great that Trump uh, will be locked up for a hundred thousand years for crimes he didn't man, This is all hogwash. All country knows it except for people like politics girl who doesn't understand the bigger picture. See what the communists would do in the Soviet Union is they would put a uh, su a suspect, so-called suspect, up in front of a court, and that court, the verdict was already decided. This is why I call a communist show trial. It actually dates back to the years of uh, Stalin. To be honest with you, but anyway. 
they put on up in front of the court and they're supposed to grapple and plead and all this. Well, Trump's not going to do that. Well, unfortunately, I don't know if he understands what's going on. These are communists. Plain and simple. They're going to keep after him and get him out of the race and we'll get uh, somebody who's worthless like Mike Pence. And he'll go along with the Democrat Party. We'll have lockdowns, climate lockdowns, Wuhan flu lockdowns, you name it. They're treating us like animals. And Trump is the only one who treated us like we're human beings. That's what I noticed about him. He truly is a man of people, and that's what they don't like. They want a population of sheep. In other words, a uh, term sheeple that I like to use. They want a population of sheep that they can herd and control. Who they are, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm on the fence. Part of me says we've probably been taken over by an outside force. Part of me says these just might be plain old communists. I know, well, we are dealing with communists, but I am not set on that one way or the other. Have, have we been taken over? I don't know. One thing I do know, with the, these Trump indictments, this is absurd. Over 90 counseling, he was never in trouble like this when he was just a businessman. Soon he but then he gets in the White House. I heard that it was like a Washington compost. I heard that they were talking about impeaching Trump just minutes into uh, after his inauguration. That's unbelievable. And unfortunately, the hatred of people like uh, politics girls, obviously a very, very hateful person, it's just appalling to me. No politics, girl. This is 100% political. This is the third world worlding of our, our country. Tough for me to pronounce. Our country has become, has become a third world dictatorship. <coughs> Excuse me. If you can't see that, then you need to crack the books and learn some things. I grew up in the Soviet Union. In the Soviet era, not Soviet Union. I grew up in the Soviet Union era of the Soviet Union, and I know what I'm talking about. This is a show trial. All four of these uh, indictments and, I mean, there's you know, over 90 indictments, and all four of these trials are uh, show trials. Well, Trump is not going to grovel and plead. And my big fear, which I was afraid to uh, say before, but I'm going to say it now, is that these bastards will do a Jack Ruby on him. Um... If you don't know who Jack Ruby was, he uh, iced Lee Harvey Oswald while Oswald was in police custody in order to silence Oswald so he couldn't talk. And the CIA has been involved with this, that's admitted now. So politics girl, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to cut this off now. You don't know what you're talking about. You, uh, obviously have a pathological hatred of Donald Trump. I never really liked the guy, but when I saw what he did for this country, he has energy on independent, inflation was low. When I saw what he did, man, I learned to love the guy. Flawed as he is. You obviously need to get some education in. I would advise you to
to uh, do some serious reading about the Soviet Union, how they ran things. Or just look at, you know, China, North Korea. I've heard, what I'm hearing is that what's going on in this country is even worse than some of the stuff that goes on in North Korea. That's bad. So, politics girl, what I need you to do is read up on Soviet Union, read up on the communist show trials. Those are mostly from the Stalin era, but it carried over. Learn how these sons of bitches operate, and then you won't be uh, quite as willing to follow them as you are now. You're obviously either Marxist or Maoist. I'm on Facts of Mars. I approve this message. I didn't want to go this long, but I had to say my piece. Thanks for watching.